All right, what's up, guys? I uh, wanted to start this vlog off uh, just again to say thank you. I know you guys are probably here tired of hearing me say that, but you really have no idea uh, how motivated you guys keep me. I, I left my job knowing that I was going to take a pretty substantial pay cut right off the bat, and um, you know I've got a lot of responsibilities, and you know it, it could be tough sometimes mentally and you know may was kind of a slow month for me and yeah i mean there there's definitely tough times you know when you're waking up and you know you you know how much money you need to make uh in a month just to be able to cover your bills and you're looking at your calendar for the next week and it's empty and you know stuff like that you know that that's very very real and it's very scary um but, you know, I believe that, you know, as long as you have faith and you work hard and you put yourself in position to succeed, there's going to be doors open for you. And um, as long as you're in position to walk through those doors, then you're going to be all right. So, you know, I, I know that my work ethic is uh, always, always going to be there. Um, you know, the, the pressure kind of drives me, but it's definitely tough sometimes, you know. I'm very confident and I'm 100% all in to this decision and this journey and um, you know but at the same time it's scary <laughs> when you're when you're used to living a certain lifestyle and you're having to dial back from that and you know you're wondering okay where's the where's the next project so you know I, I just want to say thank you thank you thank you um, as you guys saw in episode 19, I worked with uh, Young Sido, uh, the German artist, and that was my first time mixing for an artist outside of the United States. And as an engineer, I don't know if this ever goes away, but as an engineer, when you're working on a project, and you, as soon as you hit send to send that, you know, your mix to the artist, you're at like a vulnerable state because you're hoping that they like it. Um, especially when you're coming off of a, a slower month and you're just like, man, keep telling yourself that you made the right decision, but it's tough at the same time. And, uh, you know, Cito hit me back. I just want to read the email that he sent back. Um, and not to brag or boast or anything, but just to kind of hopefully inspire you. If any of you guys are going through the same path, you know, something like this, as little as this is, you know, gets you through another day, gets you through another week or whatever. So um, he responded, he said, oh, wow, I expected it to be good, but not that good. Awesome work on this project, man. Sounds clean, crisp, just like I envisioned if, just like I envisioned it, if not better. You'll definitely be mixing, you'll definitely be mixing all of my projects as of today. We'll be sending the next album project by next week. And... I was just thinking earlier today, like, dang, I don't have anything scheduled for next week yet. And an hour later, this comes through. So it's like, just stick with it. Be all in. Be 100%. You know, don't give up on your dreams. Just go for it, go for it, go for it. Sorry, guys. But go for it. You know, there's going to be tough times. If there weren't tough times, then how could you appreciate the good times? So just go for it. It's going to be tough. It's supposed to be tough, but be all in. Thanks. To show you that I'm the man, show you that I'm the man for you. To show you that I'm the man for you. Hey, what's going on guys? So it's uh, Thursday, uh, June 2nd, and it's a little later in the day than I typically start vlogging. What is it? It's almost four o'clock, it's 3.40, and I have a meeting at four, actually at my gym. Uh, I haven't talked about this on this channel, but uh, you know my lifelong goals are to 
be an audio engineer and also a personal trainer. So I've been working on uh, getting certified and things like that. I was approached uh, about maybe a month ago uh, about possibly bringing the people that I train to the gym and uh, using that, that facility since I'm there every day anyway. So I'm gonna go talk to them, see what that's all about. And uh, yeah, catch you guys after the meeting. All right, so I just got home from the gym and out of my meeting, went really well. Um, you know, obviously I'm not looking for uh, a job. I'm not looking for, you know, s uh, somewhere that requires me to be uh, there at specific times of the day, X amount of hours per week. Um, you know, when I, whenever I've considered training, I've thought about mainly just doing online and maybe, uh, I don't know, out of my out of my basement or uh, finding a, a spot where, you know, I can kind of come and go as I please. But it's pretty cool because with my particular gym and what he was just telling me is, you know, I would make my own schedule. You know, I could, if I want to work, you know, train people five hours a week, cool. If I want to train people 50 hours a week, cool, whatever. You know, I set my own pricing, set my own hours, just like what I do with the, stu with the studio. So. Uh, yeah, so it was a cool meeting, still trying to figure out what I want to do with that, but as you guys know, fitness is a huge part of what I do, and uh, it's very, very important to me, so yeah, going to look into that for sure, but yeah, other than that, it's been a cool day, just uh, responding to a lot of emails, spent some time going back over old tutorials, just trying to sharpen my blade a little bit, so uh, no sessions today as far as in person uh, and only had one mix to knock out this morning so uh, fairly light day tomorrow's gonna be more busy and then Saturday is gonna be even more busy so it's cool to have a, a, a nice light day today but um, yeah definitely spent it just trying to you know invest in, in my in my career so so yeah I'm about to eat something now I've got a couple turkey burgers on the grill right now and yeah, that's the end of this clip. Told you I went out with a good, good friend And we were out all day Well, see, that was all true But see, that's just the beginning And see, I never really got a chance to finish my sentence We were just good friends That's how it started out I went straight to her house I went straight for the couch But she went straight for the bed And I know you probably won't believe a word that I'm saying Remember that one day I told you I went out with a good, good friend And we were out all day Well, see, that was all true But see, that's just the beginning But see, I never really got a chance to finish my sentence Thank you.